I personally would like to think of myself, and that's what I try to do when I'm making decisions, is a a people-driven CEO, right? Not a profit-driven CEO. Okay. The difference between the two is a people-driven CEO looks at the satisfaction, happiness, tenure, retention of the people. Okay. A profit-driven CEO only looks at the profit. And I think it's safe to say the way we run our company, we are not a profit-driven company. Okay? Because we would uh, be doing things a lot differently. Making profit is obviously a necessity. Uh, it is important for a business. But at the same time, um, I think the humanity of this whole thing and what people are trying to do and what we're trying to do, uh, we want to be a people-driven company. So what does that basically mean, right? What does a people-driven company mean? A people-driven company means that before we have a conversation, before we make a decision, before we um, have a reaction, before we give a plan, we always have to keep the end in mind that our end objective is to create successful people and keep them here. There's only two ways really of keeping people. One, you pay them well, you give them all sorts of incentives, you know, whatever you can do for them, right? Big companies can afford to do that, yet they still struggle with keeping people. Number two, which is what we have the best chance of doing, is creating a culture where people feel respected, feel rewarded, and they want to be here.